all right now this is a pre have and have nots uh video i'm doing it's like 7 p.m right now on tuesday night and i've already done a video i think it was the was it the night of the grammys i think it was the night of the grammys i did a video is ariana grande overrated it did moderately well for a non tyler perry video on this channel but i just want to make it clear that i'm not a, i'm not a hater because i'm not in the music game like i'm not thinking like Ariana Grande's competition because that's not what I do. It's just that I am so sick and tired. Every time I go online, she's either trending, she's either, um, you know, their, what, BuzzFeed, Billboard, you know, their Facebook pages and whatnot just have these constant articles about her. Um, Jimmy Fallon seems to have her on the show almost every damn night. But today, you know, has really been a day uh, I believe uh, she claims the number one two and three spots on the uh, Billboard Hot 100 I believe and if I'm not mistaken what is it Ariana Grande becomes the first artist to hold these three spots um, the Beatles were the only ones to do this before back in 1964 so let me just say this much congratulations like you know that's not an easy task to uh, accomplish so uh, Seven Rings is currently number one. Break Up With Your Girlfriend on Board is number two. Thank You Next is uh, uh, number three. Now, again, congratulations. Great milestone. But it, it's just like, I think what frustrates me the most, and this is just me because I've said it before in my other Ariana Grande videos that I'm a fan. You know, like I love a lot of her earlier work, you know, like uh, Problems, uh, The Way. And, you know, I, I'm back from, you know, the victorious days when she was on Nickelodeon and whatnot. But I just feel like she's being way too overexposed. And I think her talent will continue to grow as the years go on. Uh, there's some loud trucks outside because my area is said to be getting, what, between two to four potential inches of snow tonight. So they're getting everything ready with the salt, everything on the uh, ground. But... I just feel like we're getting way too much art. Okay, this might be a bad example, but remember, uh, what was it, last year, 2018? Around this time, that's where Tiffany Haddish kind of just blew up and was everywhere. And then now she's kind of kind of fizzled out, especially with the whole bombing of her New Year's Eve comedy show. You know, I'm not saying that's going to happen to Ariana because obviously comedy and music are two different things, but I feel like most of Ariana's fame at this point like where we are over the past uh, few months ever since you know her engagement to pete mac dying her engagement breaking off then you know coming out with thank you next i feel like her social media persona like how the her popularity within the media i feel is bigger than the music and what really you know, just annoys me. And again, this is just me. I know it's like, well, Jeremy, why don't you unfollow those Facebook pages and Twitter accounts and everything? I know, I know I could do that easily like everybody else who's uh, complaining and trolling, but I'm just saying that there's better music out there. I mean, in this day and age, not that much better music, but I just hate that she's getting all these accolades for songs that in my opinion are nowhere near as good as some of her earlier work like seven rings apparently there's some boycott about that and i have no idea i listened to that song one time that was enough for me uh, i haven't yeah i did listen to her new album uh thank you next i thought it was pretty good i thought it was actually a pretty good album a uh, good fo um follow up to sweetener but at the same time it's just like maybe it's because there's no other competition on the charts right now because i never thought i would say this especially after the reputation but album i'm like when, when is taylor swift coming out with something new like when is she going to drop something um reputation like i said i wasn't a fan of the album but i did catch the um the tour on netflix when that dropped uh towards the end what was it the end of 2018 or around new year's taylor swift is one hell of a live performer but Maybe Adele. I, I know you got the. I think she has twins like Adele. Come on now, pick up a mic, sing a sad song or two. We need we need some real music on the charts, man. I tell you what, that's probably what's getting me down. Oh, and not like depressed, but it's just like so freaking annoying because Ariana has done so many songs that are like a hundred times better than Thank You Next or Seven Rings. I feel like instead of 
being impressed by all these accomplishments, I feel like it's diminishing pop music. I feel like these songs are kind of, don't get me wrong, I think they are, some of them are very good, catchy. Ghostin' was probably my favorite song off the Thank You Next album, but I, I feel like, I feel like we're just setting the bar very low because this music feels rushed because, okay, look, Ariana's all over the news with this very stuff, very stuff. Let's kind of um, milk it for everything it's worth with albums and songs related to what the media is saying. That is a very smart move to get monetized. Well, excuse me, to monetize off what's going on. Kind of like, you know, the Beyonce Jay-Z thing with uh, Lemonade. Uh, 444 then the join out but what we're the carters and then the tours and whatnot but it's just like i don't know i think i just hope her star doesn't burn out anytime soon because i think her voice is phenomenal um the whole thing about her being like the next mariah carey and whatnot of this generation i do believe but with mariah the songs had they 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 had staying power because we're still talking about visions of love and her first few albums to the day. And I just feel with Ariana, I just feel like they're kind of fads, you know, F A D S fads, as in they come and they go like the hula hoop or, you know, fidget spinners. I just feel like this music might not have the staying power, um, that let's say a purple rain or, um, I will always love you. Just throwing out some examples of songs that, I grew up with being born in 91. I'm talking songs before I was even born and it's 2019 and I still love listening to that, mu listening to that music today. But these songs now, they just kind of get annoying all mainly because they're everywhere. It's like you can't walk into a store or ride in somebody's Uber without that song, a, a song playing from the new album, which is fine because it's normal. But like I said before, it doesn't seem like there's any competition out there right now i just feel like in the mu in the music industry and this isn't something new it just feels like the drama and whatnot surrounding an artist trumps the actual music that they put out that's how i feel about it but like i said before um congratulations to ariana that isn't a easy goal to accomplish but one can make the argument it's because there's not a lot of other artists putting out music at this very moment um the fact that these songs are really capitalizing on what's been going on in her personal life as well as in the media. So it makes sense why the music going to repeat and climb in the charts. But I, I could be wrong, but Thank You Next has stayed within like the top 10 since it came out. I think it got knocked to number two by another artist, but then it bumped up again to number one. But let me know your thoughts. And guys, this isn't like a hate video against Ariana. That's not really it at all. I'm just like really tired of the repetitiveness of just her everywhere it's just like she can do better and it, again this is this is just me saying i think she's done songs that are way better than what she's putting out now just my opinion so you let me know your thoughts in the comment section below uh how do you feel about it what new art, well, excuse me, what artist do you think is going to put out music soon that will rival, if not surpass the Ariana? And, th and the thing is, it might be a situation where the music that's put out by, you know, Taylor Swift, Bruno Mars, I'm just naming The Weeknd, I'm just naming some, you know, some of the more current, current artists nowadays. I wonder if any music they put out now will be better than Ariana's songs, but they might not reach the top of the charts for very long because of the popularity uh surrounding ariana so yeah like i said let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and again this is just an opinionated video which i know is a dangerous thing to have at this point in time in the world today but i, I just felt like i had to put my two cents in the ring Thanks so much for making it to the end of this video. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like what you just saw. And if you have anything you would like to add to the video itself, go down to the comment section below and type out your thoughts. And I also have social media related to the haves and have nots, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page, Facebook group. Links to everything will be in the description below. And if you like action figures, video games, and trading cards, I have an eBay store as well where there's free shipping on everything. But I also have a second YouTube channel that I'm working on where I talk about things that are non-Tyler Perry related such as 
anime, superhero shows and movies, music, pop culture, and sometimes political news depending on what the circumstances are, be sure to check out that channel as well. In the top left hand corner you should see a picture of Candace Young. You can click on her to subscribe to the Haves and the Have Nots review. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and if you liked the video you just saw, be sure to check out the other two videos that should be popping up on the right hand side. Trust me, if you like this video you'll love them too. Once again, thanks so much for visiting my YouTube channel and I'll talk to you in the next video.